Hello, brothers and sisters of the Bangor Main Stake. I hope everyone is doing well. I uh, truly wish I could see all of your faces. I find this format to be a little bit more intimidating. Um, I just love being together. I love everything about it. I love uh, seeing seeing your smiling faces. I love how the uh, hymns sound when uh, we all sing together and how they they sound a little more amplified. Uh, I just love feeling of your spirit, and I very much look forward to the day when we can all be together again very soon. Um, I, in preparation for this, I have uh, prayed very hard. I continue to pray and, and truly hope um, that I say the things that Heavenly Father would have me say and, and invite the Spirit. Um, I would like to bear my testimony of the brethren that are currently serving in the stake presidency. I testify that they work very hard for each of us. They love their Heavenly Father. They love the Savior. And they love each of us. And want to see each of us grow closer to our Savior. And um, to receive revelation on how we can he help each other grow closer together and find joy in him and and that's what i'd like to speak a little bit about today is how we can hear him as president nelson mentioned this past conference uh, specifically how we can receive personal revelation to help serve others and bring peace and joy by following the the savior's admonition to uh, love one another um, President Nelson is, is so special. He's truly pleading with us as sons and daughters of God. He said, I quote, I renew my plea for you to do whatever it takes to increase your spiritual capacity to receive personal revelation. Heavenly Father communicates simply, quietly, and with such stunning plainness that we cannot misunderstand him. Our efforts to hear him need to be ever more intentional. It takes consistent effort to fill our daily lives with his words, his teachings, his truths. I absolutely love how the gospel of Jesus Christ is simply beautiful and beautifully simple how uh, President Nelson put it, the, the stunning plainness of it. We have a, a promise from a prophet of God that as we diligently seek him, that he will communicate with us through the gift and power of the Holy Ghost as we do our part to search, to ponder, and, and pray. I... Our family lives a little bit out of uh, any city lights, and uh, I, I really have grown to enjoy being out in the woods a little bit, and um, I think one of my favorite things about it is being out on a clear night and looking up and seeing countless stars. And I've found if I look long enough, that I'll see a shooting star. And I love that. I actually looked it up. I wanted to see how often shooting stars actually happen. And uh, what I found was we have a 90% chance on a clear night of seeing a shooting star in an hour's time. And when we see it, it's it's beautiful. It's, it's bright. It's brilliant. Um, it's just, it's amazing. But we have to be looking up. We have to be looking at the sky to see it. And um, to receive personal revelation, to bless those um, around us, it, it takes effort. We have to be looking for those opportunities. Uh, as Brother Rapley uh, beautifully spoke about last week, uh, Elder Bednar said this. He said, many times revelation doesn't come until we're moving and pressing forward. Elder Holland added, every good thing I know of in the world, you have to work at. 
And I've found in my life those statements to be true. I, I've, I've found that uh, the principle of having to work for revelation is true. It's something that I'm working on in my life. It's something that I consider uh, a bit of a weakness for me that I'm trying to do a little bit better to make a, a strength. And what I've found is as I've watched uh, leaders, as I've watched um, friends who have worked hard at this, what I've found is um, it, it takes, it's, it's a matter of just doing it. Of, of taking the time out of our day to um, truly sit down and ponder, okay, who can I reach out to? Um, to get on our knees and pray and ask Heavenly Father in sincerity, what can I do for this person? Um, and I truly know that the Lord, if we do this, is eager to bless us with that answer. He is, is ready um, to bless us with that inspiration from the Holy Ghost in a variety of ways. Um, each, each ray of inspiration that we receive um, is as beautiful as that shooting star. It's what we do with it that matters because we can we can sit back and, and admire the shooting star or that piece of revelation as much as we want, but the blessings do not come until we actually get up and do what our Heavenly Father has inspired us to do to bless our brothers and sisters. Um, I had a, a, an experience recently that I'd like to share. I, I had a dream and I, and I have to say that... My, most of my dreams, I feel like, are way out in left field. Those types of dreams where you wake up and you're like, where did that come from? And I'd love to get that analyzed sometime to see what it means. But th this wasn't one of those dreams. This, this was a nice dream. And in this dream, um, I was in the stake center with my wife. And it was very evident that this was the first time that we were able to go back to church together. And I saw a dear brother that I love in our ward. And he came right up and we shook hands. And my wife was really taken aback. And she's like, what are you doing? But then we doubled down and we gave each other a, a big bear hug. Um, now, I am not advocating that we do this right when we get back to church. Um, it's probably not the wisest thing to do. But this was in my dream. Um, and by nature, I'm, I'm a lot like um, Lotso Bear from Toy Story 3. I'm, I'm a hugger. So when I woke up, I... I, I was just, uh, I was happy. And my first thought was, I need to call this brother to tell him and share, share with him my dream. Um, and this brother, he, he's, a, he's an amazing man. He is truly one of the most um, fearless missionaries that I've ever seen in my life. And, and I'm not overstating that. He takes the opportunity to share his testimony every chance that he gets, no matter where he's at. Um, and so uh, a few days after this dream, I learned that this dear brother um, was diagnosed with cancer. He has cancer throughout his body. And um, I quickly learned that uh, not only is he the most fearless, one of the most fearless missionaries I've ever seen, he's also one of the most faithful and fearless people I've ever met. Um, because then for the second time, the thought came to me, you need to, uh, you need to call him and, and share this dream with him and I might cheer him up a little bit. And so uh, me and my learning process, uh, a few more days passed and then I was getting into my car. And for the third time, the thought came to me, this is a perfect time to pick up the phone and call this brother to share. And so I thought, um, wow, Heavenly Father really must think that, um, or really feels that it's important to call and, and offer whatever um, peace and, and comfort that I have to offer. And so I got on the cell phone, and, and, and this is what happened. I, I called this brother, and he, with with all the joy in the world, hey, Brother Thomas, how are you? And 
And uh, I said, great. I, I just, I, I wanted to, to call and share this dream with you. And he laughed at the dream. He's like, I got to tell you, I was praying for you the other day. And, uh, and those weren't empty words, knowing this brother. He was truly praying for me if he said he was praying for me. And he, he proceeded to uh, tell me what he thought about and, um, and uh, proceeded to share scriptures um, to drive home the point. And, uh, and then talked about how he received this diagnosis and, um, and how when he heard the news, he said the doctor with the way she had her face mask looked like Daffy Duck. And so he started laughing and she looked at him and said, I just told you, you have cancer and you're laughing. And he said, um, and this is a quote, he said, um, Heavenly Father has a plan for me, and I'm just here to follow it. Um, so I quickly learned um, through this experience that I, although I hope I was able to offer some sort of comf comfort, um, the way that he grew my faith was incredible. Um, he taught and instructed me how I can face adversity through the toughest times in whatever news I ever get in my life. Um, it's hard to put into words um, how that blessed me. And I think that that is the blessing of service, um, or at least just trying in our feeble way to hear him, and then trying... Um, to get better at listening to that inspiration and then doing our best to follow through. And what we find the miracle is that everybody is blessed as we do that, everyone involved. Um, Nephi taught us something very profound that as we liken the scriptures to ourselves, we find hope. Um, and if we've ever needed hope, it's uh, in these unprecedented times, I think, that we're living in. And we can truly find this hope um, that Nephi refers to in likening the scriptures to ourselves, to um, truly searching for examples that we can relate to. And if I can um, crown a quarantine champion in the Book of Mormon, I give that champion chip belt to Moroni, because if we think about it, um, toward the end of his life, if he revealed himself in public at whatever distance to anybody he came across, it was a life and or death scenario. Yet Moroni um, is one of the brightest examples of hope and charity um, that I that I can think of. Um, he said, Now I, Moroni, after having made an end of abridging the account of the people of Jared, I suppose not to have written more. But I have not as yet perished, and I make not myself known to the Lamanites, lest they should destroy me. Wherefore, I wander whithersoever I can for the safety of my own life. Wherefore, I write a few more things contrary to that which I had supposed. For I had supposed not to have written any more. But I write a few more things that perhaps they may be of worth unto my brethren the Lamanites. In some future day, according to the will of the Lord. It's nothing short of amazing to me that Moroni's prayer, hope, and desire... An effort that he was putting in at this time in his life was to be for the benefit of the posterity of the very people that were trying to take his life. That to me is, a, is amazing. Um, and he continued on to, to diligently write uh, beautiful truths that he gave us, um, some of which we learn how we can um, discern whether 
we're listening to our own thoughts or Heavenly Father's inspiring us. He said, For everything which inviteth to do good and to persuade to believe in Christ is sent forth by the power and gift of Christ. Wherefore, ye may know with a perfect knowledge it is of God. President Hinckley taught, that's the test. When all is said and done, does it persuade one to do good, to rise, to stand tall, to do the right thing, to be kind, to be generous? Then it is of the Spirit of God. Um, we can all participate in receiving personal revelation. Um, we receive a, a key in Jerem. It says, And there are many among us who, may, who have many revelations. And here's the key. And as many as are not stiff-necked and have faith, have communion with the Holy Spirit, which maketh manifest unto the children of men, we need to be humble and we need to have faith. Then the Holy Ghost will receive us with this revelation. Um, and it doesn't matter it, um, what position we hold in the world. It does not matter um, what calling we have at church. It does not matter um, that we are in living in, the, in a world right now and practicing social distancing. Um, we can be blessed with revelation no matter who we are uh, as long as we do these uh, simple things that's taught in the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, to receive the Holy Ghost and to then act upon it. Um, I was recently in a, uh, a, a Zoom meeting with the Newport branch um, which was wonderful. I highly recommend getting together online. It's a great blessing. Um, and President Holmes shared something, uh, a great piece that, that's on uh, the Church of Jesus Christ.org's website um, of how we can minister and support each other um, when we're supposed to maintain physical distance. And just to name a few is to pray for your families and individuals by name. Consider a virtual visit, um, video conferencing talking and counseling with your ministering companions, and being a source of joy, optimism, comfort, and peace. Um, I love um, the prophet's optimism. I, as we uh, listen and read to his latest conference addresses, um, and, the, and the short videos that were recently put on churchofjesuschrist.org, they are so full of hope and optimism. I find great comfort um, in that our, our prophet today, in what we're going through right now, is a physician. And he's still filled with so much faith and so much hope. But I find even greater comfort to know that he is being guided by a living Savior who is perfect, who loves us and guides us every single day as we seek him. Um, he has promised us that as uh, we remember him always, as he remembers us always perfectly, because he's engraven us in the palms of his hands and in his feet. We are constantly before him. He's promised us as we do our best to remember him that we will be worthy and receive revelation through the Holy Ghost as a constant companion so that we can take that revelation and do everything that we can to bless the lives of our brothers and sisters around us. Um, I know that Heavenly Father lives. I know that the Savior lives and loves us and is our perfect advocate. Um, I know 
that President Nelson is his prophet today. I know that the prophet Joseph Smith was truly the prophet of the restoration and sacrificed uh, everything that he could to bring these wonderful truths of the priesthood being restored, temples being on the earth again, to be able to be together together forever. Um, and he he's sealed all of his work and his effort with his blood. I am so grateful for the opportunity uh, to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I am so grateful for the miracle of the Book of Mormon. It has truly changed my life. And as I continue to try to read it on a daily basis, it's amazing to me how we can learn something new every time we're within its pages. Um, all these things, I testify and leave this testimony with you in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen.